TikTok, YouTube Shorts, and Instagram Reels all have something in common that you could be taking advantage of to increase your watch time and get the almighty algorithm to push your videos more. They all automatically loop. So the trick here is to get people to watch all the way to the end and then start the video over again so that you get more than 100% watch time. The way that I like to do this is by creating a perfect seamless loop so that they don't even notice that the video has started over. And by the time that they're on watch number two, hopefully they just decide to stick around for a second viewing. And the best part about this is that it's super easy to do and people absolutely love it once they realize what's happened. So let's break down how to make this happen so that you can use it on your next reel, or short, or TikTok. I can't keep up with all these platforms. Secure the cup and let's get loopy. First and most important part of this whole process is the planning, which is boring but necessary. Basically, you're gonna figure out what you wanna say and you're gonna have some kind of hook at the beginning. For this video about zoom lenses versus prime lenses, my hook was, which one do you prefer, zoom lenses or prime lenses? Which one do you prefer, zoom lenses or prime lenses? Then I've got the rest of the stuff that I wanna say in the video afterwards and at the very end, I try to think of something that I could say that technically could be part of that first line. In this specific case, I chose to go with, so let me know down in the comments, because it's a good call to action for engagement, but also it leads perfectly into my hook line with only a minor natural pause. So let me know down in the comments, which one do you prefer, zoom lenses or prime lenses? Of course, this is just one example, but you can use things like, and I really wanna know, and then your hook, or I bet you didn't know that, and then your hook, or something as simple as, because, and then your hook. As long as that little extra connecting piece doesn't feel too weird coming off of the last line, you're good to go. Once we have our plan, we're ready to film. But instead of recording it from start to finish like it's going to appear in the final video, I actually copy that little extra line that we added to the end back to the start and I perform it all as one line with that tiny little natural pause in it. So let me know down in the comments, which one do you prefer, zoom lenses or prime lenses? Alternatively, you could take the hook line from the start and add it onto the end if you prefer to do it that way, but it ends up the same either way. Then we record all the other stuff that we wanted to say in our script and we're ready to edit. As they say, this is where the magic happens, but it's really super easy. First, I'm just gonna chop down all the pieces to just the best takes so that I've got all my talking right in a row. The very first chunk is going to be our ending line and our intro hook all in one piece. Then I'm going to make a cut in that subtle pause and I'm gonna drag the very first chunk to the end. And at this point, if you were to watch it now, you've got your perfect loop. So let me know down in the comments, which one do you prefer, zoom lenses or prime lenses? Technically, the video that's going from the end to the start and looping around, that's all one clip that we've just made a cut in the middle of. But if you really want to sell this effect and have it feel best, there are a few other things that you might want to do. Looping the music in the background can really help to make this feel absolutely flawless. This gets a little bit tricky if you want to use trending audio from one of the apps. I do have a whole video on how to use trending audio if you want to check that out though. And technically what I'm about to show you will work with trending audio if you decide to go that way, but I'm gonna grab some music from a provider that I like called Artlist. There are two main ways that I like to use music for these loops, either with no music for the hook at all, or with a pause in the music just at the end of the hook. If we decide to do no music during the hook, that's the easiest way. Basically, we pick our music, put it in a way where it naturally starts just after the hook line, and then we make the music stop somewhere before the piece at the end that leads into the hook line. So when the actual loop happens, there's no music going on at all, and therefore the music can't screw up our precious perfect loop. Image quality and have a wider aperture. So let me know down in the comments, which one do you prefer, zoom lenses or prime lenses? Zoom lenses are great for verse. It's also a pretty common thing for video editors to drop the music during something important and bring it back after. So this feels super natural and it really just 
just emphasizes the point where the music is gone. But the other way that you can do this is to find a point in the music where you can naturally cut it and put that just before the last word or two of the hook. So for example, in this case, I would put it so that the music will pause right when I'm about to say zoom lenses or prime lenses. Which one do you prefer, zoom lenses or prime lenses? Zoom lenses are great for versatility and speed. You can use, again, it's that pause for emphasis. Then what we wanna do is copy that little piece of music to the very end of the video so that the start butts up perfectly with the last frame of video. Then we'll drag to extend that music backwards, basically to the point where we want that emphasis to end. So now there's music playing during pretty much the whole video. Then we trim the end back a little bit to match the end of the video, and we know that all we're cutting off there is the stuff that we've already got at the start of the video, so now that music will perfectly loop with the video. Quality and have a wider aperture. So let me know down in the comments, which one do you prefer, zoom lenses or prime lenses? Zoom lenses are great for ver On top of looping the music, one thing that I really find sells the idea that this is all one big perfect loop is what I call covering your cuts. Basically we're gonna use B-roll, things like shots of the lenses in this case, or title screens to cover any of the jump cuts that we have in our talking shot. And that way the viewer never actually sees any of the cuts, so it seems like one seamless take. Covering your cuts is really basic video making stuff, but it's extra useful here because while doing one long single take, is impressive, doing a long take that perfectly loops back into itself, that's just magic. If you got something out of this, subscribe, make sure to check out this video next because it'll be right up your alley because I seriously need to know. Just kidding, YouTube videos don't loop, or do they?